Hi, boys and girls. We're going to do two more pages in our Christmas packet that you're going to find in the black folder where we have our December uh, pack, the new two new packets that I sent home. And we're going to do the same one we did yesterday, the one with the Christmas tree, the Santa Claus, and the stockings. This is their reading and phonics pages, and we're doing phonics today. Yesterday, we did the two pages with um, capital letters and lowercase letters writing them. Today we're going to do two more pages and it says cookie sheet beginning sounds. Uh, I think they're making Christmas cookies, huh? Oh, that looks like fun. Look at the ingredients here. Sugar and flour, eggs and butter. She's making Christmas cookies. Now I think this is going to be really easy. It just says color the beginning sound you hear for each word. Um, so you see the fish in the fishbowl. So just isolate the sound. Fa, fa. And you just have to color the F. And so I'm just going to use one color. If you guys want to use different colors, fine. Uh, you don't need to X out the other two. Unless you want to, you can put an X on those. So this is just like a phonics page that we would do in our Nat Geo. It's just a little more fun. Look at the arrow. Um, it's pointing to the tie. And what does tie start with? T -t -t -t. There you go. Oh, right next to the tie, there's a pie. Ooh, it looks like some kind of berry pie, doesn't it? Pie, p p. Isolate the beginning sound. Isolate means separate, right? Pie. It starts with a p. Now this also is really going to help because one of the tests we give besides testing letters and sounds is we'll say a word. What sound do you hear at the beginning of fish? And the kids have to go f f. They don't have to say f. They say f. What sound do you hear at the beginning of tie? And they have to say t. What sound do you hear at the beginning of pie? P they have to make the sound. So this is just the isolating beginning sound. I'm not gonna do any more. Oh, wait, you know what? I gotta make sure, because it looks like a baby chick or a bird, but it, it must be a baby duck, right? It is a duck because our choices are L, D, and G. So, duh, duh. And then this one is, uh, oh, this is a little tricky. It looks like a teapot to me, but it's a kettle, k, k. This one is a um, a leaf, and it almost looks like a feather. Boy, I didn't look ahead. If these are tricky, help, mom and dad can help a little bit. Okay, uh, they don't. They won't tell you the letter or the sound, but they can maybe tell you what the picture is. This one is a tooth. Okay, I'm not going to give you the answers. This one is a bench. I know it looks like a chair, but it would be like in a park, a bench. And this was it is juice. It's a juice box, but we're just going to say juice. Okay, so. There, and then we're gonna do two pages. Let's, we better check out these pictures in case there's some tricky ones. Ah, there's a cup, a steaming cup. Now you might think it's a cup of coffee, but I see the little tea bag here. It's tea, tea. That's easy, right? Snowman. See how I'm trying to isolate the sound? Snowman. Now they look like glasses, but they're goggles, g goggles. Okay, here's a rabbit. Uh oh, they're gonna call it a bunny, bunny, okay? Uh, cupcake, that's an easy one, right? Here is a puppy. Looks like a dog, but I can tell it's not dog because there's no D there. There's a P there for puppy. Whistle, wah, wah, whistle. Here's a jar, empty, and then a frog. That should be easy. All right, so we've got two pages of isolating beginning sounds. This is gonna help us when, for, for the test that we're doing next week. And again, you can just you take one color if you want. Just color the one that uh, it starts with. You don't have to X out the other ones. Now, if you want to color the, the little pictures for fun, some of you guys love to color, and some of you guys are just excellent colors. If you want to color the little pictures, you can, but I'm going to say that's optional, okay? Okay, have fun with your beginning sound pages.